Allow me right. to brief you on the upcoming up. I've already seen this due to the last one. Hello. And welcome to part nine, I believe. Of Valkyrie Chronicles 4. Now, last time. I kind of got really pissed off at this. I'm not going to lie. You better keep up. But this time. This time. I have faith that I'm going to be able to at least pass it here. So I want. Lock and load. Do the. The sniper way to move up oh, there. Thanks. Sniper there. Anytime, sir. I'll try my best. Gonna dare. Area police and there. This should work. Now. Okay, again, we have seen this in last one. But, dude, these two, I swear, they honestly just piss me off. Like, I've had tons of fun playing this game so far. As on the four-ish hour streams, at least three hours plus. So I'm not really saying this from a place of malice, but really, the fact that they release this with a tank. Okay, I want you all watching to think of what a tank should feel like. It should feel like an unstoppable thing. Something that is strong. Something that can look at another unit and go bang. You're dead. Get out of here. It has its limits. Like, I won't be able to get the tank over that side without having to drag it all the way around. No, so that's out. I won't be able to have a cruise along these back lines. But I want it to look at an enemy. Look at one of those Nicola and Chiao and say, Yeah, you two, I want you to. Dead. But then they have the nerve to say, yeah, you can dodge this mortar. You can dodge this anti tank round. Okay? It's essentially aimed right at you. Really casually. Like, oh. Yeah, you know. It's perfectly normal for someone to be able to do. Commence operation. But no. Instead, it's just like, yeah. I can dodge this. Screw the fact that that mortar shell is essentially enough to take out pretty much any infantry save for a lancer. And then you're going to essentially 
turn around and say, oh yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know, I'm... I'm renting here, but it's just... Uh, Like, I'd get it. Don't get me wrong, I would get it. If freaking... Okay, how do you turn around and fight me? What the hell, my dude? Okay. If, say... Leave it, to me. it was just infantry that could dodge. No, seriously? Never surrender. I don't kill the... Uh, God damn it. Just tell me if the cold's got you feeling tired. Moving out. I'm not gonna have her. Like again, inventory. I could get that. You know. Oh yeah, you can dodge these shots. Mabel, thank God. But a tank. Federation officer. I will not fall here. I got worse than this walking to school. Found them. God, uh, the fact that I've got to use up Minerva a bunch right now. Next up, I need to half in a bit, otherwise I'm no, not no. going to be able to take out that bomb. Enemy sighted. Look. That is the devastation. Okay. Didn't kill him in one hit, but for most things, it really would. I, that is kind of what I mean. Like, you kind of want to feel like an unstoppable force in a tank. How could I? They're my friends. And in case you're new, like, that is essentially her regretting that she's basically selling out her friends to help her bother. Gotta take out that sniper before he screws me up. Didn't take much. And next, I need to take out the now advancing. bomb, otherwise, it is going to screw us up. Gotta prevent three of these from hitting the ship. <laughs> As it progresses, more are going to drop. I haven't completed this mission. I'm only got up to a little bit where these two lovely little annoyances come in and basically be like, oh yeah. Oh, we can totally just can stay here and you know be annoying. Have Lily to defend the camp. Now they move. They're essentially going to run directly down to thank. I'll show you. And I forgot to bring an engineer. Fuck.
can keep going. I'll make sure you die slowly. I'll see you again. They also have enough strength in their weapons to take out the tank. It's going to take them a while. Only doing about 350 damage per shot. But, there's still the capacity. And. Honestly, had this guy, I like other class of scouts. Yo, know what? No big deal. Mm, I'm gonna have to hope we do. Okay, that tank's uh, the Huffin's gonna have to survive for a bit. And this is where we stationed a couple troops at camp. You're kidding. Yeah, you're dead. What? How did you survive that? You're kidding. Eat lead. And I really gotta hope that that scout doesn't. Just run off, that works. Hmm. As you can see, there are two bombs this time. Uh, we want you. This is our camp. I would kindly ask that you fuck off. Naturally. Mm, can you snipe the bomb? Scout bomb. So hard to see too. Be careful when handling liquids. They could really? freeze. You missed that? Okay. I'll make sure <clears throat> and of course, you don't even have enough naturally. A okay, I probably could have made it had I went to the other one. That was a mistake on my part. Two bombs down. Again, they will essentially be more bombs dropping as the turns progress. Now advancing. But hopefully from these two vantage points, I should be able to take them out. That's us two bombs. I also don't really want to use up all the sniper's ammo since they are limited by three around. Uh, I should be able to survive another hit. Advancing. I will see this through. Fire! See what like that? Oh fuck! Say I didn't even Advancing. aim at them. Yet they somehow have the. Capacity 
to freaking dodge. Like, are you just kidding me with that? Like, I seriously want to know who. Oh my god. But, okay, please, moving out. Anyone knows who thought it would be a good idea to make tank shots dodgeable. Please, tell me. I would like to find them and. Well, I was hoping that if I didn't use the bloody thing, they did, but for fuck sake, okay, it's essentially leaving the tank. Fucking helpless. Mmm, you fucking cunts. Okay, moving out. Like, just the amount of times you fucking waste, and yet they dodge each shot. Keep in mind, they do 700 damage for each shot, yet I can barely fucking scratch them. Oh, shut the fuck up. I don't even care anymore. These two. Oh, God, don't tell me that she's gonna run all the way up to the sniper gun! Did you. Fucking. Ah! No. Fuck sake! I'll show you. Fuck! Yeah, cause that's good fucking balanced gameplay and she's... Are you fucking kidding me? Not fucking only do you have to deal with the fact that they are damn near impossible to kill. They've also got enough fucking AP to pretty much just run straight across. And take out the snipers. Like, yeah. Good fucking good level here. We've got to deal with two pretty much new killable bitches. And the fact that they all would just mask go right to the. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. The fact that you didn't manage to kill says a lot. Like, I can guarantee that next turn, they're going to come straight up and take out fucking thing. And look, two more bombs. Naturally. Like, they're clearly going to take out Nord. But, I can't spare the shot to kill them, because I've got to deal with these stupid fucking bombs. <sighs> fucking. Great fucking level. Riley's working as hard as she can. I know she. That tank is in our way. It's always the stubborn prey that takes the fun out of a hunt. Yeah. So let's take it out. I'll rip them apart piece by piece. Target destroyed. Please do focus on the fucking tank. In fact, I would prefer you breeze. try and focus on the fucking tank, okay? As opposed to your bullshitness. Survival of the fittest. Pretty good. Animals are so beautiful. Don't, why animals? We're literally in a crevasse in the frozen the board, sea. Okay, I seriously want to know what animals you're talking about. And I'll watch. I try and send fairy air up. She's going to get killed. Probably by interception fire. 
So not even from freaking actual reaction fire. Okay. Somehow. <laughs> Legit, it is just. This oh yeah, and yet ours conveniently fucking. Medic. Oh, just fuck you! I swear Daddy. to fucking God, I hate this mission. Like, I would honestly Not be able to again. handle this. I see. They're good. Had it not been for just how stupid these two are. Okay. Please tell me you can be useful and actually hit someone. Okay, apparently not. Just be completely unuseful. Like, and also, how is the ship going to get out with these two heavy-ass ice pillars just conveniently blocking it? Fucking click you! Fucking hell! Oh, do not mean to fucking click you, you goddamn. Oh. <laughs> Ready for this? Nicola won't even get a chance. A tank's a real problem. Let's completely avoid the tank. Really? Really? A mortar shell is fucking close. <laughs> How should I kill you? I don't know. Jump off the goddamn cliff. For I goddamn care. Oh yeah, plus, you also gotta cycle in the fact that they do also regen health each turn. We're fine. Minimal damage. Seriously, guns. I can somewhat get if you see someone aim a gun at you, naturally, your instinct will be to duck. But a fucking tank. I am sorry to have to keep saying this. But dodging a tank shot is just the most BS fucking shit out there. It's like you've gone to the length to shove your hand so far up a bull's fucking ass. And then scoop out as much as you can. GG, you're an idiot. Like, if someone genuinely can give me a good. Freaking answer as to that I'll give him a hundred bucks if you can come up with a reason why 
They did this bullshit. Wait, nothing is jumping in this turn. Okay, nope. Let's see. I bet you it's three. Nope, just two. Roll out the red copy. I never miss. I just want to kill this cunt. On your knees. It's pretty cold inside the tank. Sean. I mean, you'd think the oh, tank would kind of have its own heating. Make way. I don't know. That might just be me. Trooper Nicola, which I bet you if I fight upon. Conveniently dodge. On your knees. You're talking to a bomb. Just saying. Alright, so the last one's over there. Uh, you're really weak. So. Not sure if your chances. But Mabel should be able to sneak up there. Make them bleed. You're being targeted. <sighs> Alright, or just... I mean, how did you even take that much damage, really? Understood. Super power bomb. I'm a one woman army. Fire. That's nice and all, except it's a bomb. It doesn't really have much defense, love. Alright. Here comes the Raz. Care to attack. Stupid bitch dot ex stupid dumbass bitch. Did I swear? Not even mm. I could just Holy there you shit. are. The are fire. Fucking are you kidding me? And in one shot she does that much damage. One shot, and she pretty much one hit KOs him. Don't let down your guard. The enemy has begun their counter attack. Right there. God, I wish she would just fall off the fucking thing. Again, I know it's Fire. annoying, but try actually playing this game to the point where they think, yes, near in the. I swear to God, the tank controls. Just let me. I don't want to move. I just want to casually move the tank. Watch out for frostbite. Is there interception Let's fire? Okay. So Conveniently, the interception fight doesn't hurt the tank. Here I go. Stop. They're at me. Don't stop. You've got... I was like, wait, is it saying to repair the tank or what? 
Thank you. The enemy has begun their <sighs> like again, I'm sorry that I keep complaining. Once the mission's done, I'm sure I'll be a lot calmer. I got just to the surface. <laughs> Ready for this? Nicola won't even get a chance. Funny enough, the most damage that's done is in the intercept fire, and she's running straight up to the sniper gun. Because of fucking course she would. Hanging out. Why goddamn not? <laughs> How should I kill you? And she's probably going to no, but we expect it. I run straight across the ice. There. We can keep going. That really does not do much. Like I'm not sure what unit you boosted the demo attack to, but So I can, I can get behind that. You can dodge a flame forward by just crouching down. Sure. But it's a tank. Like, funny enough, the most damage they take is some intercept fire. Simply because that you can't really dodge. Firing. And now I got to. Is the mission over? Please tell me it's over. Is that the end of the first wave? Damn it! The Centurion still isn't moving? Claude, how do we get out of this? They're gonna swarm us! <laughs> Riley's fighting with everything she's got, just like us. She's just literally just standing in the engine room. No matter what. Oh, thank fuck. Just... At least I never have to do that again. Really, those two are just so unbelievably freaking broken. Your performance in the previous battle was exemplary. We're stuck in the bottom of the crevasse. How are they getting supplies to us? That's what he says, clearly annoyed at the last freaking battle. Frozen up. Riley, how's your side going? Ragnite engine's connected. I set it up to push as hard as it can go. So why isn't it working? Hey, what kind of engineer hits their own machine? We've tried everything else. The connections are set up. The outflow's right where it needs to be. We're sitting in here scratching our heads, and they're out there fighting. We, we have to get this moving. Everyone's fighting for their lives. You don't get to lie back and take a break. Okay, Dad made you, didn't he? That means you gotta listen to his daughter. Come on! Work! Work, damn it! What? <laughs> I like the bait was basically because it's like, yeah, just hit it until it works. You gotta be. How'd that even work? 
It worked for Dad. If his machines broke down, he'd just smack them. <laughs> we really did it! <laughs> All right. The ship's finally woken up, then it's go time. Get a hold of the bridge. We're gonna push this baby as fast as she can go. You got it from here, Claude. Please, there's no more fighting with those two. Just please. Again, I thought they were here to seize the freaking ship. Not destroy it. Uh, how much longer? The second wave is coming. They have a whole company up there. Just a little longer. Riley won't let us down. <laughs> Save those lines for when your girlfriend's around to hear them. Rass! Fine, let's get them. Come on, you bastards! This is the bridge. Our squad, board immediately. Oh, like, yeah, there's more than one. Can you hear me? Squad E is staying in the field to guard your retreat. The second wave of enemies is moving to descent. We need to leave now. Captain Wallace! Understood. I'm counting on you to defend the ship. Centurion! All systems back online! Full speed ahead! What the? Thought it couldn't move! Oh, our prey! They're getting away! Damn it, stop! Stop, you bastards! <laughs> That's gonna work. <laughs> she can freaking scream! Damn! I would actually like it if, you know, most things, post-game you can get, like, the enemies you fought against. Let's use, say, Fire Emblem. Uh, it's so warm in here. Crap, I forget which one it was. It wasn't, I don't know, may have been Awakening. The Mad King, Pelaga, whatever. You could get him after he kind of turns like a zombie thing. It's like being stuck in a freezer before, but now we're running hot. But honestly, I do like that. Like end game, you get access to these really powerful <laughs> units <laughs> that you fought in the campaign. Whoa, gross, man. Obviously, it's up. not really what really cannon, but it's still a nice treat. However, I doubt we're getting the Vulcan walls <gasps> or those two. Ah, oh, bork bork. Rags and Claude. <laughs> I thought you'd be here. We're still not running at full capacity. I'm pushing the backup engine pretty hard. I heard you got that working all by yourself. Nice job, Dr. Miller. It wasn't just me. I feel like Dad was helping me, too. Riley, you must beat the shit out of that engine. Papa? <laughs> Papa? <laughs> Riley, good job. Papa? <laughs> 
<laughs> it wouldn't start up no matter what I tried. For a minute there, I was just panicking. Then I remembered the days of my dad and I was like, I gotta smack this. Uncooperative bitch. Whoosh, dish, 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 dish. It's still uncooperating. Dish, dish, dish. Just I like Daddy I used to. to night sometimes. He said he had to butter it up. You didn't talk to it. You beat the shit out, out of it. You see, the rag knight was in a bad mood. Ha! <laughs> Buttering it up, huh? So what finally convinced the rag knight to cooperate? <sighs> Treat it just like your mom and beat the shit out of it. Uh, I mean, you know, just had to give it some tough love. <laughs> huh? Yeah, tough anyway, love. Thanks, Riley. Believing you hit it with a goddamn wrench. <laughs> uh, how can you give such a cheesy line with a straight face? Oh, <laughs> sorry, that. That sounded a lot cooler in my head. Mm. That's how I feel. I kept going because you did too. I really I hope those two don't get together. I prefer Minerva. To just cuter. I felt overwhelmed. And when I made my choice to stand and fight, my courage and my determination came from you. Whether you're pushing me or just smiling at me, you helped me move forward. So, thank you. <gasps> Sorry, was that too much? You are such an idiot! You're supposed to be scaredy Claude. And now you come out and say all this stuff. Uh, I believed in you too. Riley. I knew you could keep them back. That's how I could throw myself into the repairs. Whoa. Oh, the entire ship breaks down. Um, sorry. Bork, bork, bork. Rags, what's cutting into you? Hey, you two should cast. I think you found something. Let's go check it out. Oh. Oh. Huh? Oh, the... Yeah, it should be dead. Where did this girl come from? Okay. Let's go over the list. She's either one of the refugees that snuck aboard, in which case they'd recognize her. Already on board in the first place, in which they'd recognize her. Or can let's just say she randomly got on here. This ship has basically been freezing for the last Let's say hours. Alright. Just let's see, if she's been sleeping. It was clearly not winter gear on a cold metal floor. I'm not um Oh Hey Dragon, how are you? And I don't know who this is. But essentially, yeah. So she's been sleeping here. Cold metal floor. She did have frostbite. Because that is definitely not wind to get. But you also did completely miss, like, me just getting so pissed off in the last mission. No, anyway, welcome to the stream, mate. So this is her. She really is. 
you can fart. Yeah. Yeah, I think most people can. There's some who can fart on demand, too. Okay, so kind of, huh? What am I supposed to do? What do I want to do? I, I don't know. This anymore. Someone please stop me. Well, I mean, you're feeding intel to your brother. Yeah, I can fart, but I don't need to right now. Oh, Kai, I didn't know you were in here. How does she look? Has she woken up at all? N no. I'd better go. I've got something I need to do. Like, in fact, she probably was the one that told the Exo Squad that we were down here. If that, they really did just. Wait, hang on, no. I think it was. Yeah, so it was Kai, aka Forsetti. That said, I'd be done here. Uh, I really can't play Fortnite. I'm Seriously, I'm completely okay? trash at that. She seems really out of it. PUBG, I can survive I'm a back, bit, guys. but thanks for keeping an eye on. Not really Fortnite. This is quite a crowd. Are you all here to visit the Sleeping Beauty? Oh, you're just kidding. That. Yeah, Fortnite does kind of suck. I mean, if you like it, then hey, that's awesome. But it's just not really my kind of game. Doctor, has she not woken up yet? Again, this ship has been freezing for the last few hours, and if she's just conveniently, how are you going to survive without Frostbite? I'm if you're lying, right on a cold in. metal floor. No signs of injury or atrophy, though. She looks fairly young. She might be exhausted simply from the stress of stowing away on a military mm. ship. Okay, so, you've been cold. Okay, so, no, this... The area that we're in now... Is... At the bottom of a crevasse... At the bottom of a crevasse... In a frozen sea, this ship's been without power or heating for about, the, I'm going to guess a few hours, otherwise they wouldn't really be so desperate as to resort to barrel fires. And no one's noticed this girl. So, regardless, she would have had to survive. Like, it's hard enough for most normal people to survive the gold like this condition eh, without bundling up she is in a dress she I would be frozen to death but Stole, uh, huh? I wonder if she's one of the civilians we had on board which okay so he brings that up and yes, if she just got there, then maybe. But yeah, now he brings that up. Kai would have recognized them. Or at least anyone would have that was there to count the twenty or so civilians that came on board. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I counted them myself. Twenty one on, twenty one off. See? You think she's been here all by herself ever since we dropped off those refugees? I don't know. We'll have to ask her when she wakes up. Plus, okay, so, dragon? Yeah, okay, so, she might be magical. That is a good point. She may be a Valkyrie. Um, since we don't have one on our side, and they do, I am going to toss it out that, that she may be a Valkyrie. But, Ignoring all that, how would you find the time to sleep on a freezing cold metal floor? I have a hard enough, a hard enough time sleeping with my window open. It's cold and a blanket. Whatever the case, we have no idea why she's on board. 
Alright, she might be beaten. Or interrogate her. What do you mean she might be beaten? Interrogation? She's a little girl. We don't have a choice. We know someone leaked our cruiser's route to the enemy. Yeah, which we have figured out is Lena. You're joking. Not to worry. No, I'll just don't think of her as an all. I won't let her come to any harm. If you say so, Doctor. Yeah, again, I will fold out that, that she may be a Valkyrie. By the way, it feels like we haven't been picking but up speed. But at the same time, the Wiley... You do know that, like, sometimes the bad guys do actually employ children, right? Like, for the simple fact that most people tend to not want to shoot at children. So, say, let's take Fallout. Fallout New Vegas. What do you mean you butch the Valkyrie? I mean, there's an enemy Valkyrie, but she went completely nuts and destroyed the other ship. But anyway, let's use Fort New Vegas as an example. They clearly, the Legion, clearly uses child soldiers. Oh, wait, I'd say the... Well, how did, how am I meant to say it? Valkyria? Valkyrie? That Valkyrie is kind of how it's spelt. Val, K-O-A-R, Q, then E. Unless it's going to be like Valka. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah. Child soldiers can be a thing, Riley. Not good. Main reactor has completely shut down. The Navy guys are all doom and gloom too. Talking about how the mission's gonna be impossible like this. Punch it. I horses. mean the main engine Don't shot. Be so hard on them. They know the ship and its limits better than you do, after all. Well not suppose of a K, we don't say. Yeah, that's true, but is it meant to be like Valka? I feel the same way. At this rate. I highly doubt we can complete the mission as planned. You too, Doc? I mean, I could go back to when they actually do mention the Valkyrie. And... Uh, what episode was that? Uh, no. The bear. Uh, what episode was the Valkyrie? Uh, what was that mid fight? Uh, I don't know. I think it might be mid fight. Anyway, always show off the enemy Valkyrie for your dragon. It's this crazy bitch. Who goes completely well, nuts? Can move. Much tougher than we thought. And I hate those two. They will not escape. They will see. They will see why I was chosen. Be completely crazy. Stop this! I guess that's kind of an annoying thing in number two is that you do actually get someone who is a Valkyrie, but she kind of also refuses to like use her powers. So you just get another scout. It's just like, blah. And there goes the comet. Be 
Which again, I'm pretty sure that is a chick from the first game. Called Sally Vara? Like, all it takes to turn off the main reactor is just to open the door. <laughs> anyway, yeah. That's, uh... Also known as the Winter Witch. Anyway, let's move on with the story. But it's essentially, so far being 30 minutes of combat, and all the rest story dialogue. Like this, uh, I can be a witch. Um, eh, could be. Course for our destination. Our main reactors are still disabled. The ship can barely maintain a third of its maximum speed. The sea fortress is in our way too. Closing in. Oh, uh, well, have fun, dragon. Nah, it's just a bite, at least. The crystal sea with unbreakable fortifications, countless artillery emplacements. Captain Morgan knows the risks. Nevertheless, he set a course for the fort instead of bypassing it. No one on board can say for sure whether the Centurion will make it past its so-called unbreakable defenses. And even if we do, we have enough left in us to make it to the capital. We're short on supplies, on manpower. I mean, there still is one more ship that we could link up with. I can tell everyone's thinking the same thing. This is our last chance to turn back. True, but why would we? We're going well enough. We just completely almost got our asses hands to us. We can't keep this up much longer. How can we get through when we're moving at a crawl? <laughs> Look at him now. They sure talked a big game back when we just set off, huh? I think the doctor had a point, though. They have a far better grasp of naval warfare and the ship's capabilities than we do. They probably know better than anyone how risky it is to launch an attack like this. Come on, don't tell me you guys are backing down too. We didn't lose that many people and go through all that crap just to quit now, right? We did it so we can wipe out those imp bastards. You know that, right? I mean, how and what are you alone? We have about I agree with the doctor. 40 people. What? This isn't just risky. It might be impossible. I even Dude, oh, we really can, like, deploy 10 a mission. Which again, brings up a point, like, you're not even going to use half the people on your team. Like, for me, I don't Already use them all. Decided to fight to the very first time. The Centurion and everyone on it. I won't let them sink this ship. We're going to reach the capital. We will just deploy Sigmund the leaders and then push through. We've sacrificed too many friends to give up now. Glad. Like it's <laughs> kind of weird we that you need to line. actually use up. More than what you bring in. The situation has the crew uneasy. With morale this low, it'll be hard to fight as a team. Who cares about those spineless navy jellyfish? We're rangers, and we. No, we can't do this alone. We're in the middle of the Crystal Sea. If we want this to work, we're gonna need their skills. We have to unite as one. Otherwise, we'll never make it across the ice. Unite, huh? So what's your plan? We might just have to go around one by one and try to lift their spirits ourselves. We want to take down the Empire. That's true for all of us. 
God, this is gonna be a real pain in the ass. Ah, oh, well, not like I've got anything better to do. I'll talk to the female soldiers then. I can probably relate to them better than you guys. Combine the guys can't relate to a chick. I mean, I'm sure that's not really what she was implying, just that, you know, since from a woman, but to still. Reach the Imperial capital, you'll have to find some way to um, the force although if you guys like, could relate to a chick more than a chick can. That means it's more important than ever to be prepared. I'd say so, those cannons. I'm sorry to report that the crew's starting to get uneasy. As it stands, trying to push past the sea fortress would be incredibly reckless. Even then, we might not be able to take the capital. Some think we should retreat while we still can. It's just rumblings for now. But if morale dips any lower, mutiny may not be far off. Uh, I can certainly understand that position. This must look dire indeed to the rank and file, but loose lips sink ships. We cannot disclose our plan. Agreed, sir. But for now, we need to resolve this before it becomes a crisis. I heard an interesting piece of information myself, you know. And what would that be, sir? A small group has been lifting spirits through the ship. Attempting to convince the dissidents, one by one. Who would attempt? I'm sure you can guess. It's Squad E. I propose we give Mr. Claude Wallace a chance to find a satisfactory resolution. Leave the heavy lifting to those who are young and on their first pair of legs. As for an old sailor like me, I will wait and see. No, I really can't hope. I really do hope that we get to upgrade like a bunch of nice stuff after this. Or before the next Rest, more right. combat thing. Oh, hey Claude. How'd it go? Not great. Everyone's fear is getting the best of them. So what if we have to go hungry for a while? We've eaten grass, frogs. We can manage, can't we? It's a different mindset here. Grass. We can adapt on land, but out at sea, our fate is tied to the ships. I don't think that's going to help convince them. Well, fine. If those chump buckets don't like it, they can take a long walk off a short plank. Losing manpower would hurt our chances even more. I know that, damn it! But everyone here wants to take down the Empire. We're united by that much, right? What the hell? Why aren't they listening to us? Oh, hey. Where's Kai? I asked if she wanted to help, but she seemed really... I don't know... Distracted? She said something about having to do rifle maintenance and to go on without her. Damn it! We're trying to convince hundreds of people here. She may be cranky, but we could use the help. She's been acting really weird lately. Kai's probably dealing with her own issues. Whatever is going on with her, we still have work to do. Come on, Raz. <sighs> yeah, all right. I'm coming. What can we do? And then they probably walk in on... Kai talking to real Kai. Oh, my nerve is getting angry. I'm oh, hyped. I don't know. Could be one of the three. I thought you were up to one of your usual schemes. Given up already? Minerva. I haven't given up. It's just. I don't know what to say to the others. I feel like I have to say something to bring us together and raise morale, but I can't find the right words. Hey Minerva, why don't you go on the ship and tell everyone how much you blame 
them for Squad F's death too, huh? Just be like, where the hell were you? My squad's dead because your lazy asses didn't get to the rendezvous in time. Just like Squad E. So I still blame all of you people on the ship too. Like, I swear, I still not got fucking over that. And she puts the blame squarely on Squad E. The tank squad? The ass book? Freaking fled as soon as the Centurion showed up. Or Centurion comment and the other one. If you can't do the job, I could take your place. Maybe that would be for the best. <laughs> you absolute imbecile! <laughs> the right words? I thought you had a spine, but I suppose I've overestimated you again. You think a motivational speech will win this war? I didn't pass up a promotion for you to just talk. You're here now because of your intelligence, your wit. No matter what you faced, you found a way through. You led your squad through each and every victory. Unlike yours, burn. <laughs> you already have what it takes to get this crew to fight for you. And it damn well isn't your way with words. Minerva. You have one thing I don't. You didn't lead your friends to their deaths. I will not tolerate failure. If you want to prove yourself, do it through action, not words. Yeah, that's because we detoured to hit an Imperial supply base. Did we ever mention that? How we kind of helped Galia? Yeah, right. we did that. Right. You're exactly right. That's okay. Just completely ignore it. Thank you, Minerva. I feel like some kind of fog is lifted in my mind. I suppose you just needed a good impact to knock it loose. Oh yeah, sure. Fog. Just smack me across the head. Fog. Why didn't I think of this sooner? Yep, cuz physical abuse is fun. Pardon? Killer used the fog as cover to assault the base. Excuse me. I have to see the captain. I I doubt that you probably would have uh, sensed the fog and just like, yeah, so fog. At least he's come to a decision. Honestly, he really is an imbecile. See, and that's why I'd prefer that if we got together Minerva. She's a lot more fun. As opposed to, like, Wily and that. What the hell's going on? What's with the assembly? What do you think? The army boy with a stick up his ass, here to give a big inspiring speech. I'm sorry, who basically saved your fucking ass in the last battle? Who, who was up there? Fighting off the bombs? Mchala and Nicola? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. It was your captain. Ha! <laughs> hey Kai, what you doing over there? I don't really think it's that wise one saw the person that saved your ass, but whatever. <sighs> hey, seriously, what's going on? Everyone. I apologize for how sudden this is. I'd like to propose a new plan to get past the Sea Fortress. Just hear me out. The core of their defenses is their high-powered artillery. We'll have to neutralize that first. The plan is to use air balloons to drop troops in from above and seize control of the emplacements. At the same time, the Centurion will make a frontal assault and charge directly toward the fortress. Okay, so they've clearly got air balloons. Why not have an aerial assault? Like, and make planes. What? Soon 
A dense fog is going to cover the entire fort. That'll be our chance to infiltrate it. The wind should be steady enough for balloons, even in the fog. Visibility won't be good, but we can land on target. I've already received the captain's approval. We just have to get ready. And when the time comes... Wait, the captain actually approved this? Yes, he did. Are you insane, Claude? How could you think this is a good idea? How could the captain sign off on it? You want to drop us into a fort? We're barely equipped. How can we take out the artillery like this? We won't even have a secure escape route. And you're just going to send the ship charging forward? A head-on firefight won't do us any good. Even if we win, it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. The losses would be too much. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Grass? I was just thinking I wanted to let off some steam. Been cooped up in this goddamn ship for too long anyway. They're so proud of their heavy artillery, huh? I want to see their faces when I break it in half! But... Those of you willing to fight, come with me. I'll explain the op in more detail. Count me in! If we turn back now, we'll be the laughing stock of the Federation. Damn right! The Centurion can make it through anything! All right, let's do this. Hmm, nice assist there, Raz. Huh, <laughs> well it was enough to get a compliment out of you. I'm definitely going to assume that the tank is out. I well, see how you're going to airdrop in a tank. It's possible, but still. So that's the marine base we're going after. The fog hasn't rolled in yet, but... Shouldn't be long now. Oh, look! From the north! Wind talk comes through for us again. Okay, everyone ready? Let's go. Wait, Claude! Miles, are you really going through with this? This plan is completely insane. It's suicide. Are you that scared of death? I'm a soldier, Claude. I'm not afraid to die if I have to. I am. Huh? I'm scared. Not just for myself. I'm always afraid that my friends are gonna get hurt or killed. Then why are you... Because I'm not alone. <sighs> I'd be too afraid to do it alone. But if I've got everyone behind me, I know we can do it. Reminding myself that we're all in this together gives me the strength to do the impossible. Isn't that how we made it through all our battles? Claude. Time to go. Guys are all in this together. Okay. So it's combat. Now let's head to headquarters and Check see if there's anything new that we can build, learn, all that good stuff. I just hope there's some more ship parts that we can build. Get your ass in gear, dickwad. <sighs> nah. Believe in the you who believes in me. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> what you mumbling about, Raz? Claude! Uh, uh, 
Uh, nothing. I, I was just, uh... If you have a complaint, I'd prefer you say it to my face. What? No, I was just, you know, practicing. Practicing? Yeah, it's just sword play. Even the bravest soldiers lose their fighting spirit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. On the front lines, keeping morale up is a matter of life or death. Right? Which is exactly why I thought it'd help if we all had a buddy to psych each other up. Ah, oh, I see. Well, that's actually a really good idea, Raz. But you have to be careful to say the right things. Yep, so I've been workshopping all kinds of lines. Want to hear what I got so far? Of course, lay it on me. After the battle, let's all get booze, bacon, and boobs. <sighs> it has to work for everyone, Raz, not just you. If they were my words of encouragement, hmm. That's what inspiration does. Fine order you came up with, man. You're really getting the hang of this whole commander thing. Yeah, you said that ten chapters in, how many battles, and you know. Yeah, sure. I'm only now just getting the hang of this command thing. Oh, oh my God! Be quiet. Like again, they're just. I keep saying this, but it's just small, just little quality of life changes that'll be like, oh All yeah, done, I don't have to deal with you talking every time, making this action longer and more tedious than it already is. Yeah, you know, it really should just be untangable. And Headphone cords that don't tangle whenever you leave them for like two seconds. How many guns do we even still have left? Like, that far down, they must get really powerful. Let's compare this one 227 and 50. So it's like a full six damage there. Oh, it's twenty. Good to thirty one. No, oh, they really do start getting a lot stronger, don't they? Wow, a masterpiece. Hmm. I should have enough cash to upgrade everything, but I'm really hoping that I don't freaking run out. Like, these guns clearly cost quite a bit. Though, I honestly don't really see much worth in freaking uh, anti-tank mortars. Sure, they're nice, but I'd rather just blast them with a tank shot. So assuming... See, it doesn't really say what... Combat unit. Okay, but I'm assuming. So these are clearly for the lancers. I'm assuming that these are for the shock troopers and they're for everyone else, I guess. And as you can tell, standard. It really looks kind of big. That's close to nearly double, but the grenades 
Oh, I see. They kind of go up. Inside. It's kind of fun. Hmm. I definitely want that. Nothing new there. A bit extra HP helps. Uh, well, that pretty much gets destroyed like every time anyway. extra person that really does take up quite a bit. So basically, I'm just gonna have enough to get the last sort of upgrade for the Huffin. Okay, no mind. Turns out that was actually really kinda cheap. I probably should go through and just. Really check what I don't need in there. Uh, that should have been it. Yeah. <sighs> Any luck. The extra damage there would be nice. I'm assuming that that kind of has to suck for everything. This all goes a few rounds. So it goes tank shell, gun, tank shell, tank shell. Okay. Really does focus more on its main cannon, does it? Snipers over the engineers. Since, as you can tell, I don't really use the engineers that much. I mean, you know, it'll be a good move. Making your attacks completely undodgeable. Uh, is there any new personnel we can go over? There is.
Oh yeah, conveniently, she just wakes up and she's about 12. Again, in that outfit, she would freeze to death. They're like that they have like two little knives there and just a bunch of bolts. Yeah, it's just like ah look at me. I'm clearly evil but <laughs> Again, highly doubt you're going to get them, but it would be pretty fun. Like, that genuinely is one of my more favorite things about endgame stuff. You get access to so much powerful stuff that pretty much just makes you breeze through the rest of the stuff. Or the friggin' previous missions. DLC done before we do this, which if I remember the other DLCs do also include a swim or a beach one where you know everyone gets nice pretty little swimsuit, all that fun stuff. Uh, something about two Valkyries. I know one is where you get the Edelweiss, I think. Winter, 1935. I know, the Not tank from the first game. In the snow, a few moments of peace and quiet is a welcome change for all of us. Could he be? Hello. Something the matter, Karen? I don't see you around here too often. Well, have you seen Rags? I mean, Ragnarok, recently? It's about time to switch out the Ragnade kid on his collar. I haven't seen him since this morning. Isn't he usually hanging around Riley or Kai? They're both on a recon mission with Raz and the Commander. They said they'd be out for a couple days at least. Oh, now that you mention it, I think Raz brought him up. Something about leaving me in charge of Rag's meals. Wait, are you telling me you completely forgot until now? It's been two whole days since they left. You're saying Rags hasn't had a bite to eat since then? Ah, crap. Guess I spaced out without Raz to remind me. Oh, no. I've been so busy with repairs, I didn't even notice poor Rags was starving. Yeah! -ha! Don't underestimate the nature of a beast. If he doesn't get fed, he'll find his own food. He's fine. Just let him follow his instincts. Instincts, huh? 
I suppose, but how's he gonna find prey to hunt aboard a snow cruiser? Let's assume you're right. What's Ragnarok's next move? Hmm. The answer is elementary. Hold up. You think he ran off the ship to look for food? I think it stands to reason. Besides, it'd certainly make an interesting plot twist. This is no joke, Connor. Ragnarok is a canine soldier. If he's caught deserting his post, he'll be euthanized. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. Oh God, they're gonna put him down, and it's all my fault. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> I feel sorry for the dog now. Guys. Just straight up talking about oh, the poor dog is gonna be killed if you know he runs off. Do you know how hard it is to find trail in the snow after sure any like that thing, I guess? Like this. Well, I guess that means he would have headed for land. It's a hell of a walk, but we ought to check the islands. And then again, there are too many to just look randomly. We gotta at least figure out the direction he took. But we don't even have permission to disembark. And the commander is going to be back by nightfall. If we don't get Rags back by then, the captain's going to set sail without him. <laughs> um, Azusa, why are you sniffing around like that? Look, I think there's animal fur over there. Animal fur? I don't see anything. Look a little closer. Hmm. Yes, I do suppose it looks like a strand of brownish hair. The hair smells... familiar, and a little musky. It belongs to rats, no doubt about it. What? How the hell can you pick up a scent just from that? My sense of smell is never wrong. Emma is a good dog. I should be able to track it. Bark, bark. What the... hey! You better be right about this. I mean, you're saying that she like if she's wrong. Smell might even be as good as a canine unit. Say, that gives me an idea for a mystery novel. Like you're saying, hey, you better be right about this. Like you have any of a lead to go on. You've got nothing but books on the brain. Well, it's not like we've got any other leads. Let's trust Azusa and follow her. Is Bork 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 Bork? So Rax's scent is coming from this direction. I'm positive. There's a tank over there. It looks like Imperials are occupying this village. Yeah! -ha! Perfect! We'll just crush him as we roll on by! Don't be stupid. We're not equipped to take on a tank alone. W whatever. Let's scope out the area first. Pretty sure you do have a lancer in your little party there. Hey, you find it yet? I don't see it anywhere. Sneaky little bastard. That goddamn mutt's got some nerve, stealing meat from Ausbruch. That was the last of our fresh rations. We're getting it back if we have to burn down this whole village. Huh? I think I see something. I'll smoke him out. Dark. There! Open fire! 
No. Bork. Bork, bork. Matches up with the one in my notes. It's the same one we faced at the Seedfall line in Lindbergh base, which means the Imperial tank platoon isn't far off. Fighting them head on without Claude would be risky, and that's a major understatement. It's my fault Rags is in trouble. If that's I'm the Vulcan, then yeah, this. they're fucked. I don't need Raz or Claude. I'll save him myself. Wow, that was actually pretty badass. I didn't think you had it in you. The hell's that supposed to mean? Rex, over here! Come on, boy! Hurry! <coughs> bork, bork. All dogs bork. Hey, wait a minute! Federation scouts! We'll just kill the whole goddamn litter! Come on! The Vulcans here Rats, definitely we're gonna come get you, buddy. Gonna be dicey. Uh we're gonna be up against that squad of the black tank. Also known as the Vulcan. I uh, don't think we stand a chance against another hair on assault. No shit, it doesn't have a wagon on core at the back. Let's go out and distract them. That chicken wag is not time to escape. He's a smart one. I'm sure I'll be able to catch on to what we're doing. Let's do this. Got this team. All right. I mean, see, so you clearly. Do have a Lancer, so oh, pardon me. And at least you know, do all the same levels what I left. If Raz and Claude aren't with us. We can still do this. Come on. Listen, we'll have to fight without a commander. That means we need to cooperate. No boss, no problem. I'm just gonna do what I always do. Whatever the hell I want! <laughs> Damn it! We have to work together, you dingus! It's us against the Empire's most powerful tanks. Honestly, I'm terrified. But I'm excited too. I... I'm gonna do my best to protect Rex! I really don't Come like on, her. Let's go. She is far too anime-ish. It's like they looked at anime and just like, yeah, this game's kind of anime-ish. Let's just make her the most anime out of it all. <sighs> Alright, so... Lancer... Sh shit. That thing, that lance is not going to be able to get around behind. Okay, so it looks like it's going to have to be around that way. I'm going to save just to kind of see how we go. You got three shots. Let's see you use them, girl. Hey, looks like the enemy doesn't have a commander either. 
Their movements lack coordination. Exploit that, and we might just stand a chance. Then now's the perfect time to run them down! I'll knock them down! You have any luck? Just needs one more little tap. I'll knock him down. Uh. Mm. All right, Kona. You're up next. What genre? Uh, the explodey kind, please. Alright, uh, these guys are late to so. What's on you? I guess it's one shot to kill, but it clearly takes more than one. Right, right. Great gameplay. What scout are you targeting that it just decides to not target? It close? Can you take out that sniper? I figured them out. Okay. Good. Oh, hey there, buddy. Despite the fact that that would also probably catch the ground on fire. What do we need to do to win? Okay, so we gotta get to the base camp. Mm -hmm. No problem. Always remember, the enemy can't see you as long as you're hiding a bit of grass. Taking a turn, I'll be right back. So, go back.
Alright, I am back. Seems like the enemy has what done is some stuff. As is a very enemy thing to do. There. Take you out of the picture. Hop. Uh, sneak up. I found the enemy. So there. It really would be a lot better if just one up to an engineer would supply you. But I've got to get you around past that tank. I have to say that's good enough. My god, is also gonna be a problem. Yeah, this is what I get for not making any of these guys a leader though. Genuinely surprised that didn't also incredibly damage her. Here I come! For any luck, Simon can push for two. Okay. Oh man, I kind of did predict that. Time. One shot. Cry for mommy. There we go. The only problem is that these two are now incredibly weak. You don't know about them. Uh, let's have. Can I do this? You try and take out some of these guys. You get hit first. Enter everyone, so there's an astral rainstorm outside. Too slow. It's tote super nice, cause I love rain. It is like one of the most relaxing things ever. That really did less damage than I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie. 
I was really kind of hoping that... Okay, you should be hidden, but whatever, that's kind of the purpose. Being in the goss. Of course, since I hit it with the mortar. It. It's also broken. Let's see some spirit. One more push with you. I don't think killing time to get stealthy is really a good idea. Somehow miss all those shots. Okay. Shit. I thought there was a way down from there. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, let's have you try. Can you? Yeah, I guess I could walk. May you rest in peace. Uh, next up, have Simon. Don't mind me. Okay, good. That is the way down. I thought you had to have a unit sneak around behind here to take out the tank and then move on from there. I don't give a damn! What's that? Hmm? Oh, feels good. Man, a nice shit. Nice what the hell? Lieutenant Colonel Bolt! Enemies? Thought I heard that was getting hot and heavy. You'd better have a damn good reason why no one told me. Uh, well, sir, it was just a few foot soldiers. We thought we could handle them on our own. Oh, really? Doesn't look to me like you've handled shit. <laughs> oh, come on. You didn't notice who it is? You're from the squad that sets my heart aflame. My soulmate. I don't know what they're doing out here without a tank. But I'm glad I just freshened up. If they're inviting us out on a date, I won't say no to a little fun. Oh, please do not tell me that means the Vulcan has arrived. I know I keep talking up that tank. Well, that's because it is incredibly the enemy's moving in sync. powerful. Oh, oh shit! Giant tank. Their commander's here. That explains it. Evidently, a little leadership goes a long way. Cut the commentary. We gotta move. Crap! It's like we're fighting a whole new squad. Well. If it isn't the big boss himself, yep! Now that's the way I like it. Simon, stop! That tank is too powerful. There's no way we can handle it on our own. We've got no choice but to fall back. 
Everyone secure an escape route. Now! Essentially, they've all got to go around. Understood. This is not really going to go well. Freaking target mode! God damn it! I thought I was pressing on B to go into talk about sooner. Hey guys, check this out. I'll show you. I'm afraid not. Oh, there's a Wagner crate there? God, had I known that, I would mean I'd take out the tank sooner. I wonder if that means there was a Wagner crate where the other one was. I kind of do want to test something though. Meat sacks. Meat sacks. Shit. All right. Yep, I failed. Gonna make it on this attempt. Listen, we'll have to fight. But at least I know what to do this time. Problem. Well, I push too far ahead. Opposition soldiers. I found you. As to where, here I go. I have a better chance of making it through. Really, you survive that? Oh, you bastard! There you are. Ah. <sighs> 
Shit. I was not really expecting hey, that. Looks like Call it here. Do I have a sand? Uh, I know it's kind of been a shorter stream, shorter than usual, anyway. But get back, we'll definitely do this. So this take. Kind of. Seriously, why can I? Oh my god, do you know how annoying that is that you can't use the thumbstick to freaking flick across it? You gotta use the D pad. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So that is actually called a super bass. Oh, so weird. Alright, hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll catch you all later. And as always, have a good 